gosh, I'm back. <laughs> um, some time has passed. Um, I um, um, uploaded those videos onto my laptop, but I haven't up started the uploading process onto my um, platform just yet. I went outside and I uncovered um, my uh, crops. And let me tell you something. I think uh, within by Friday, um, I'm going to just pull them all and have them hanging by Friday. I really see that now because I don't want to dry them out. And I see that they're at the end, end, end of, of their growth. So um, regardless of where they are, just I just said a few minutes ago, you have to respect where a person is at. And I have to re also respect where they're at. And they've, they've given me what I needed. And I have to say, out of all of them, uh, presidential look the best. Presidential look the best. It's so dense and it's so heavy. I mean, and it's just clusters of just buds. I mean, huge buds. It is crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm waiting on that motherfucker by yourself. But you can tell where, when the pistols, the hairs on the buds begin to turn brown. And the, when they, when you first start, when they first start uh, the flowering process, the fro flowering is the budding. Okay, when they first start that, then the the, the pistols on 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 the buds are like almost iridescent, almost a clear. They're like a really really t light light light, almost like a white or like a light green. And then, but as the plant begins to age, then the pistols, the hairs on the buds begin to turn brown. When they turn brown, that lets you know that, okay, they've reached their maturity. Okay, now it's time to pull them. So I pulled out my burlap. I'm getting ready to hang them. So I, I wanted, like last night, I gave them some potassium and all that stuff. So I don't want to pull them just yet. I think what I'll do is I'll give them another feeding. Like today, I'll give them water. And then to that, tomorrow, I'll give them potassium. And then Wednesday, I'll start the flush. So tomorrow's Tuesday. So I feed them Tuesday. So Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is just simply water flushes. And then, but, no, I'm going to have to do two days of water flushing and one day of dry out. Because you have to flush, you, you really want to flush all the nutrients that's in the soil onto the roots. And then you want that to dry. So then therefore, if I feed them tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I'll give them flush Wednesday and Thursday. And I'll hang them Friday or Saturday, depending on how much the water has to evaporate from there. Because you want it to be like a dry to a degree. Not so much as a desert, but you do want it to be absorbed and dried. So... Probably Friday or Saturday is when I think I'll pull them. But according to my um, schedule, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's just on time. It's just the fact that um, the cold weather back in January, February, California got a lot of rain and a lot of cold. And that stunted their growth. It slowed them down. So they're pygmies. They're not as big as my last crops. Now, my last ones, I had a sativa that was five by five, five feet, five feet by five feet, okay? So, yeah, yeah, about five, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Not this time, but the previous time, I had a five feet by five feet. Last time, she was probably about a four by four. Um, this time, though, my big is, <laughs> is still little, but it ain't gonna have nothing to do with what the buds they gonna yield, though. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, just because it's little, that don't mean it don't pack a punch. Because the thing is, the the growth was stunted. But the thing is, the nutrients and shit that I was giving it, though, once again, did not say this morning about that quantity versus quality. So then, therefore, that's what we're going to stand with. So maybe that was a message that was given to me. And it was just for me to receive it this way. That message for me wasn't given in that aspect totally. But in this aspect, I have to respect where they're at. So, I guess it works hand in hand. Um, but I wanted to come on and, and speak this before I go ahead on and close it off. Because I know I'm doing a, a lot for today. And we're going to still do this every day. But I don't want to be, um, you know, flooding you guys with four or five goddamn videos a day. Now, that's a lot. 
So I really want to kind of keep it little. Um, and there's still so much that I want to say today. It's like I have so much in me to say and speak on. And it's like, wow. It's like, do I go with it, Father? Or do I just keep, or do I just hold and not? And just since I have so much shit to discuss every day, do I just stretch it out? You know what I mean? I'm on that right now. But let me say this before I go, though, because I know I cut it off on Mr. Malibu, and I want to come back and just speak on this, and then we are going to shut it down. Ladies, it is truly a gift to have a man in your life or men in your life that don't want nothing from you other than to love you. That is the most beautiful feeling in the world to me, to have a man friend that ain't trying to fuck me, that ain't trying to take nothing from me, ain't trying to use me, ain't trying to disrespect me, ain't trying to do me a doulo, and all he wants to do is love me. So I understand, um, I was getting it in my thing on like my top videos that, because it'll give you like your top videos that were shown if you want the, the top videos of the last 60 minutes, the last 48 hours, the last 7 days, or the last 28 days, or, you know, you could bump it up like that and see what was your favorite, what was, what was people watching. And I got so much of Mr. Malibu in my feed, on my end, over the weekend. I'm like, wow, a lot of people was watching that. And I'm glad because it let you guys know that there are men in this life that don't want nothing else from you but to love your ass. And, you know, and so I know that, you know, a lot of people don't like that. I got so much flack about that. I even saw a video, um, um, one of my girls did a video and she was even talking about it. And I watched your video last night. And actually, this was my first time that I seen this video. And you were talking about Mr. Malibu sent her some water and he sent her a gift. And man, it's just so beautiful for me. When I tell you, oh my God, I, last night was the first time I'd ever seen your video. But on my end, it also shows what videos are suggesting certain content. So it's like you go in the discovery tab. And when you click the discovery tab, it'll tell you what people are watching and what videos are bringing the most traffic onto your videos. And that's how I saw her video because her video it was one that was pushing a lot of traffic to see that. And then there were searches where people were just doing searches of Mr. Malibu. Then I had... Some shit coming up. Uh, I guess this guy, his name is Mr. Malibu that's on YouTube or whatever. And so some of his shit was coming up. And I was like, God, who is this guy? But, um, baby, I love you so much. Oh, my God. You have shown me something that I have, I, I, I've only dreamt about as a kid. You're showing me some Cinderella shit that I have never... I've never been to my prom. Um, I didn't go to, like... Um, uh, what What is that? Uh, the, the winter formal. I didn't go to any of those things. But when you tell me, baby, I want to take you to dinner. It's like... I don't know where you're taking me to. I don't know if we're going to dinner at the Bel Air Hotel. I don't know if we're going to Mr. Chow's. I don't know if we're going to Houston's. I don't know if you're taking me up to Wolfgang Pups. I don't know. I don't know what to get dressed for anymore with you. I don't know if you're taking me front row to a new edition concert. I don't know if you're sending me tickets, flying me out somewhere. I don't know if. I just don't know anymore with you. This man still sends me water. Still. I still get my cases of water. Thank you, baby. I, oh, my God. I thank you so much. I thank God for you so, so much. I truly do. I thank God for you. I thank God for our friendship. When I look at the things that you have given me, the things that you have bought me in my life, Whew. 
Ladies, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know the half. Y'all only know what I've shown y'all. Y'all don't have a clue as to what you don't know and what you don't see and what you don't know that he's done for me. And ain't never asked me for no pussy. As God is my fucking witness, may this motherfucker cut off right now. Maybe something else happens. I don't play with God. But when I tell you that this man has been in my motherfucking corner, right or wrong, and this man has never asked me for no parts of my motherfucking pussy. And it's like, I know it's hard to believe. It's hard for me to believe. I guess that's also one reason why I was speaking on how when you meet somebody and they don't know, it's like, I got a lie detector in your ass. I've had that, okay? Because they're just not willing to accept the fact that I don't want anything else from you but to love you. That's all I want. I got my own stuff. I just want to love you. I want to make you healthy. I want to be here for you. I want to be your life partner. I've had men that just do not receive that well. They're like, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, what? Are you talking about me? And they don't receive it well. They do not receive it well. And so, and I guess the message that I was speaking on this morning was also for me because I could not receive it well. I was like, oh my God. I've, I've attempted to send this man money, I've, you know, for things that, that he's done for me. I remember one time this man had sent me, this man sent me a check, Okay. Blew me the fuck back. Blew me the fuck back with comments. Okay? This motherfucker sent me a check. I've never once discussed that on YouTube. Never talked about it. Nothing. This motherfucker has sent me plane tickets. This motherfucker has... I got purses that I... I couldn't afford. This man has got me purses thousands of dollars. At that time, I couldn't afford that. And I was blown the fuck back. I be, in, in a way, it affected my friendships. Motherfuckers thought I was lying to them. You withholding. You ain't telling me the truth about this. How? What makes you so lucky? What makes you so this? The way this man just doing this. Women couldn't, they didn't, they didn't like me for that. I lost friends because of that. The men in my life talked more crazy to me because it was like, you got to be fucking this man. You got to be doing this for this man. You got to be because this man is doing shit for you that God damn, this some wife shit. And you ain't never done nothing for this motherfucker. Never as God is my witness today. I ain't got no reason to lie for it. Why the fuck would I? I mean, if I did it, I mean, as much shit as I talk about on this motherfucker, what harm would it be? Y'all don't know him from a can of paint. Motherfuckers trying to figure it out. Because I've seen a couple of videos. Motherfuckers trying to really figure it out. They trying to narrow this down. Motherfuckers is going from Charlie Wilson, Ralph Trasvan, uh, Robin Thicke, what else am I getting? I get Robin Thicke, Ralph Trasvant. Um, I get uh, Puffy. <coughs> Who else I get? I get... I think those are the main ones. <laughs> those are like the main motherfucking ones. You're close. <laughs> you very close. Very, 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 very close. But... You know, and, and that's my own personal business. That's my own personal business. Oh, my God. Then motherfuckers, well, why come y'all ain't together? Because this is what God got us. This is where we at. You ain't got to like it, but we all right with it. We good with this thing. And I only pray that my daughter gets the same motherfucking thing. I just hope and pray. You know, and I didn't have to lose a bunch of weight. I met this motherfucker back in 2010, okay? I met him in 2010. I was bigger than this. I was coming on this motherfucker with my hair twisted up, eyelash game fucked up. 
I was coming in this motherfucker so throw it back. I was looking at videos yesterday. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I was looking at motherfucking crazy. I'm going to look back at this video six months from now and be like, but well, goddamn, Tim, you could have done something to your hair or something. I ain't done shit, baby. I'm just on this motherfucker because this is me. And this is the way I want to be accept, uh, accepted. This is the way I want to be loved. I don't have to be all hooked up. Like, old boy was telling Nephi, take all that shit off. She came out with circles all around this right here. And that motherfucker was still just loving her from where she was. So maybe this video is for me. Maybe this message is for me. Maybe it's something about this that I need to look into. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying too much, but maybe there's something. Maybe I need to, you know what I'm saying, change up some things. Maybe I do need to realize that I've been worthy for all these things. Man, girls, can I show y'all something right quick? Hold on. Just right quick, right quick, right quick, right quick. Right quick, right quick, right quick. Right quick. Y'all right never seen this before. Right quick, right quick, right quick. And I got the whole motherfucking scarf and everything. Right quick. Yeah, right quick. One more second. Hold on, girls, look. Right quick, right quick, right quick. Bam. Okay? Baby, I love you. I love you. You have shown me some shit that I just, I'm just, I'm blown back. And I guess that I, I, I guess I never really realized the fact that, I, you know, I, because, once again, respect somebody where they at. And for the longest time, you always say to me, how come I just can't love you? I'm your friend. How come I just can't love you? How come I can't do this for you? How come I can't? Man, I tried to send this motherfucker some money. Y'all, I sent this motherfucker, that motherfucker felt like that shit was an insult to his motherfucking ass. I sent him $500, okay? I sent him $500. That motherfucker called me up and was like, don't you ever do this. It's, I feel disrespected. I feel totally disrespected. And I was like, but you sent me a cashier's check. And what was I supposed to do? I was like, wow. You know, and it's like, you know, I just felt like I got to pay this man back in some way, shape, or form. So I sent him $500. Okay? So if I sent him $500, then you already, the, the check was well over 1000 Okay? The check was well over three. This motherfucker just sent me a check out the blue. Okay? I ain't never came on this motherfucker. I ain't never talked about it. For what? For, for motherfuckers to be having open forums about me, motherfuckers already be on Alley and all them, all that old other, other shit, you know, having open discussions about me already. I'm so used to it, you know what I'm saying? But it, I, I just felt as though I wasn't worthy of these things. I felt as though, like, <laughs> I truly felt like, I guess I, I guess I felt like I just was not worthy. And it's like, and I don't understand why. Why would I feel as though I'm not worthy? Now, what is this message? There's a message today. This message was for me. For me to look at things a different way. That's the reason why. And I guess, you know, things come, like I was saying, that things come around full circle. And I've questioned him since 2010. Out of all the things this man has ever done for me. And still to this motherfucking day. Still to this motherfucking day. Baby, what you need? You need something? You need something? You need something? You ever have to, don't ever have to worry. Contact me. Your life is slow. Some things going on. Call me. Some shit don't work out. Some this, this, this. Call me. You've been my friend, man. You have been my friend. You've had so many motherfuckers salty throughout these motherfucking years. Man, I had to dial down, fall the fuck back. I lost friends. Motherfuckers was mad. He sent her another motherfucking bag. Bitch, did you look that bag up? That bag was $3,700 that nigga bought her. Why you bullshitting? 
Yeah. Yeah. My baby sent this for me. Why you bullshit? Zero games played here. Yes. Zero motherfucking games played here. One man. One. Not two, three, four, five. Sleeping with this one, sleeping with this one, lying to this one. I've never lied to this man. We've had an open exchange. We didn't talk about every motherfucking thing under this stuff. We don't see each other all the time. Even back then. And now I haven't seen him in some time now. I haven't seen him in some time. We text. And hey, how you doing? You need me? Call me. He tells me he loves me all the time. Tina, I just love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I guess I, I never, I, I never really, you know, uh, what do you say? Acted upon that or... Whatever, I just kept it light. We both just kept it light. You know, we've kept it light for seven motherfucking years. Light as fuck. And I just love it. And I'm just going to leave it right there. I'm just going to leave it the fuck right there. I ain't going to put no extras on it. I ain't going to put no dubs on it. I ain't gonna, We're going to leave that right there. But girls, <laughs> vibrate higher. Know that you are worthy. Know that there are men out here willing to accept you or where you stand at today. You don't have to be all dogged up, freshly manicured, hair on tin, butter whipped all the time, face beat. You don't have to have that for no man to truly love you. You don't. 